All right, good morning again, everyone. Still on day four. You're getting two videos today, so you're getting lucky. Enjoy that. I don't know if it's going to happen every day. But the reason you're getting the second video is because I really wanted to show you what black lighting was. I talked about it in um, the blog yesterday, and I just wanted to give you a short video on it. So the concept of black lighting is what's going on behind me here, is that the moths will fly at the light and then land on the sheet that's behind it. And this is really cool because you get to see all the different species of moths um, that will be attracted to the light. And some of them actually land outside about 20 feet, the females tend to. And it's really cool to come at night because you're seeing all of them really active. But to come in the morning, it's even better because you don't have to dodge the moths that are flying at your head, which is always fun. But you know, morning you're a little more relaxed. So I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see all these different species, which are amazing. Some of them are works of art from nature. They're like mosaics, beautiful colors. And um, as I'm bringing the camera closer, I want to let you know that some of them are about the size of the ones I see in New Jersey. And some of them are about the size of the ones in the birds of New Jersey. So enjoy that. So just bringing it a little bit closer here. You can see all the different species. There's a really fuzzy, tiny yellow one there. They're just absolutely beautiful. Larger black ones. This one that's just stunning. Some of them are white, so they're actually blending in with the sheet. And then, of course, we have our light. So... That's all the videos I think I'm going to post of today unless something super exciting happens, which it probably will. So uh, that's pretty much it. A little bit later on today after I eat breakfast, we're going to go back out to the field and start collecting, you know, plant specimens so that caterpillars can eat them and seeing what we can find. And then doing a little uh, zookeeping, so making sure that the caterpillars are healthy and eating. And I think that's pretty much what we're doing today. Tomorrow we're going to a desert museum. I'm probably going to post a video about that because it's going to be awesome. And that's all I have for now, so I'll talk to you later. Bye!